Thanks for all your help with this. Hey everyone, today on Garb Fork I'm going to show you how I cut cast iron and replaced it with PVC pipe. Ready? Here we go. So up in there, you can't see it right now, but there was a massive leak. Maybe you can see some of the leak going down the wall here. And the remains into that bucket there. I've cut holes in the ceiling and in the wall here to figure out what's going on. This is a cast iron, I call it a plumbing stack, but it is a cast iron pipe. The back of it, which is right up against the wall, up in the ceiling, is cracked. Uh, cast iron over time degrades, and I gotta cut it out. And I wanna show you today how to cut cast iron and also how to replace cast iron with PVC and the pros and cons of that. And it's just kind of a, a day in Eric's life because we gotta open up this wall even more, get up in there, and it's generally gonna be a total blast for you to watch. Um, for me, less of a blast, but at least it'll be fixed. Ready? Here we go. Hello, trusty assistant. Are you ready to help? Are you ready to help me? Yeah? You are very comfortable, I see. Always have to make the assistant comfortable. That's a little better. All right. Here's the offender. It's got some other plumbing around it, but I've got a really cool tool I'm gonna to show you. And I, this will be hard, but not real hard. I think you could do this. So it's this pipe here, up in there. The back of the pipe is leaking up in there, along with all those electrical wires that are going in there. This is a 110 year old, 120 year old building. So there's a lot of modifications that have been done a lot of them not very well done. The leak is behind these cabinets in there. Let me show you in here. But the pipe is in there and the leak is happening against the wall down in here. So I gotta get that big drain pipe out of there. Here's our riser. Lots of electric, gas line, and in here that plumbing drain has to come out. This is what's called a ratcheting cast iron pipe cutter. Sometimes it's called a soil pipe cutter, but you can see it has a ratchet on it. Um, the idea is that this can wrap around the pipe and stay stationary, and you just ratchet down the ratchet. I can't make it ratchet now. Um, and it pops the pipe. Also sometimes called a pipe cracker. But um, go rent this and rent it for the day because you're going to need it. So this is going to go in here. It's really tight in here. So on the next cut we do down in the basement, I'll have a better visual of how to cut your pipe. Okay? All right. That took a while, but I've got this in here really tight behind there. But now we start cranking this down. There we go. Problem here. There's a joint there. We gotta get that through that basement floor. But fun. So up in here, I enlarged. I used the reciprocating saw and opened up some of the wood. There's the bottom of a kitchen cabinet right there. Really nice. So I cleared that up there so the hub can drop through. I'm gonna cut this here so you have a better view of the pipe cutter. It works really well. And I'm going to have to cut this pipe several times probably to get it out of the wall. First, make sure this is screwed all the way in like this. Flip the bottom one so it engages with the chain. Nice. All right, I've got my ratchet connected. This is nice and tight. Now we're just going to crank down on this. This takes a while. There we go. I'm gonna do a second cut so I get a section that I can knock out. You have to brace this part of the pipe up above here with some strapping, okay?
Okay, you don't want this metal going in there. That's a bad thing. All right, I'm gonna have to break this out in pieces and bring it down because it's 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 so tight in there it won't come out. There we go. All right, another one. By the way, you should have plastic down here because things are going to come out of the sewer pipe onto uh, here. Protect your floor. All right, ready to cut again. This is what, two and a half feet? It's heavy. I got a little surprise for you though. Wait till you see the back of this pipe. This is what's been leaking. Man. All right, is it snack time? Snack time? All right, let's go have a snack and I'll go back to work. Okay. Let's go. All right, I've got this cleaned up because otherwise you're going to track that stuff all over your house and your brand new basement floor. Um, I've got the tape measure and I'm measuring. I think I'm going to have to split. I'm going to put PVC pipe in here and I think I'm going to have to do two pieces to go up and in. Um, I don't know if I can loop it. You know how you kind of, it's a really tight space. Up in there, as you can see. All right, so we're going to measure PVC, cut it outside. All right, again. Safety first, okay? Here's the trick. To connect cast iron to PVC, you want what's called a flex coupling. It says right on here, connects cast iron, plastic, copper, or steel pipes. So cast iron to PVC, the flex coupling. This makes life a lot easier. This is another kind of flexible coupling. It has a stainless steel shroud around it and two clamps. Um, sometimes these go on a little easier than the flex clamps. All right, could you go upstairs and connect the top for me? Thank you. All right, we're good to go up here. So I found, just to tap these on, it takes a little bit to get them on. Loosen these clamps. Makes it a lot easier to put the flex coupler on there. Learn from me. Sometimes you might need to put a screwdriver under here and lift up the seal. There we go. So slip this on and make sure that you can get to the screw heads of the clamps. Wow, not bad. I will test it. I'll go flush your toilet upstairs. Um, but, I mean, this might be like, you know, eight or ten minutes of video, but this took all day to do. So, and it really helps to have somebody help you. Uh, I did not, unfortunately. But you can do this. I can do it. Um, it helps to do it on your own house. Don't volunteer and say, I can do that for someone else's house if you don't think you know what you're doing. Learn from me on that one. Uh, but if you have some thoughts about uh, ways I could do this better, I'm always learning from you guys. Again, I'm just your kind of weekend DIYer guy. Um, I don't mean to be an expert or really anything, but just like to share what I'm doing here. Comments below. And we put out stuff like this every week. It's me and the Labradors doing stuff. Could be cooking, gardening, DIY, fixing your own plumbing and saving some money. All right, so make it a great day. Let me know in the notes, in the comments, what you think. Yeah.